Hi, I'm Pastor John and I serve as the Adult Discipleship Director here at North. For those of you who know me, you might know that I love the game of basketball. I love the pace of the game. I love the X's and O's of the game. I love how players have to work together towards a common goal. Now, one of my favorite movies is the movie Hoosiers. In Hoosiers, Gene Hackman plays the role of Coach Norman Dale, the head coach of a small high school in Indiana called Hickory. Now, Coach Dale and Hickory are fictitious names, but they do represent a real story about a real high school years ago in Indiana that had to play in one classification and competed for one state championship despite the size of the school. Now, there's a scene in the movie that I really like where Coach Dale's encouraging his players to work together. And he says to his team, it's like five players on the floor functioning as one single unit, team, team, team. No one is more important than, than the other. And one of the reasons I like this scene is because it reminds me of a passage of Scripture found in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, Paul is writing to the believers in Corinth. It's almost like he is a coach of young Christians. And he's writing to them about the importance of the body of Christ and how believers fit together. And in chapter 12, verse 12, it says, For the body of Christ has many different parts, just as any other body does. Some of us are Jews, others are Gentiles. Some of us are slaves, and others are free. But God's Spirit baptized each of us and made us part of the body of Christ. For our bodies don't just have one part, they have many parts. Suppose a foot says, I'm not a hand, and I'm not a part of the body. Wouldn't the foot still belong to the body? Or suppose an ear says, I'm not an eye, and so I'm not a part of the body. Wouldn't the ear still belong to the body? For if our bodies were only an eye, we couldn't hear a thing. And if they were only an ear, we couldn't smell a thing. But God has put all parts of our body together in a way that he decided best. And if you skip down to verse 24, he continues, and Paul writes, he says, For God put our bodies together in such a way that even the parts that seem the least important are valuable. He did this to make all parts of the body work together smoothly, with each part caring about the others. For if one part of the body hurts, we hurt all over. And if one part of our body is honored, the whole body will be happy. For together you are the body of Christ. Each one of us is a part of his body. Now, I love that passage of scripture for a couple reasons. Because it points out that each one of us is different. We might have different opinions. We have, might have different talents. But we're all a part of one body. And God knits us together for his purpose and his reason. You know, today, I don't know where you are in your relationship with God. I don't know if you're feeling weak and you need this encouragement. I don't know if you feel disconnected and isolated from others. That's normal to feel so. But I do know that God loves you and he doesn't want you to walk through this life alone. I do know that if you're feeling weak, that we have people here at our church that would love to pray with you and encourage you in your walk with Christ. And I do know that if you're feeling disconnected, that we at North have small groups to help you connect with others. Small groups, which we call life groups. If you want to know more about our life groups, you can go to our website at mountpairnorth.com, all one word, and click on our life groups tab. And we have groups that are ongoing right now, but in September we're starting a number of new groups that you can get a part of. And we'd love to help you find your fit. And just as Coach Dale said in my favorite movie, Hoosiers, that a basketball team is like five players on the floor functioning as a single unit, team, team, team. No one is more important than the other. So it is with the body of Christ. As Paul said, God has put all parts of, of the body together in a way that he decided best. I hope that these verses have encouraged you today. I hope that you have a purpose-filled day in your relationship with Jesus Christ. And if you need anything spiritually that we can do to support you, please let us know because we want to help you grow in God and connect with others.